And welcome back to Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, where we are continuing on where I think we also have more range with this weapon than we did. Yeah, we have more range with that than we did the hammer. Okay. Sorry. I was, uh... But yeah, welcome back. Um, we have the double jump now, which means that we can get out of here for the most. But I don't think that we missed anything down there. Maybe a thing or two. Uh, it doesn't look like we might have missed a thing or two. Huh. No matter. Oh, wait. Never mind. Can't access that at the moment, anyways. We need the slide, slide. The Mega Man slide. Ah, uh, Mega Man 8. I don't remember if the slide came back in any other games. But I think it did in base. Not, uh, not many people like Mega Man 8 or Mega Man in base. I was alright with both, actually. Mega Man and Mega Man 8 and base could have used some refinements. Uh, especially the American version of Mega Man and Base. Basically, that used to be a Super Famicom game. We got, uh, the, uh... Ow, stabbed through the head, apparently. Hold on a second, sorry. We got the, uh... Yeah, yeah. We got it on the Game Boy Advance, not on, uh... Ow. We got it on Game Boy Advance, not on Super Famicom, so we did get it on the system. So there might have been a little bit of screen crunch. And by a little bit of screen crunch, I mean, oh my goodness, that is a lot of screen crunch. Oh, gotta be careful. Wish that was actual health. Okay, so these enemies do less damage now, but still do a fair amount of damage. Because, as I said, that's, as I said, that's why I don't like... Not being cautious. Oh, yeah, you. Come on down. Did I? Ow. Alright. I think that that actually happens to be fairly uncommon. Just like these, if I remember correctly. They don't. Oh. Okay. So apparently not too uncommon. Or I just got really lucky, which is entirely possible. If I remember correctly, if we can get up there, there's some hard enemies at the moment, which I really don't happen to want to fight at the moment. But, uh, I'm gonna take a look, see, real quickly. Anyways, -y. All right. Oh, hey! I forgot about that. Let's uh, show that off. So, we have the warp room. I don't really like the aesthetics for the warp room. Big surprise. Not something I would use in real life. Period. But it does happen to be really convenient to warp. So, obviously we're back at the beginning of the game now. Uh, we can go check in real quickly, maybe heal. We can also access a few places that we couldn't before, such as this place, which means I believe we should have access to one or two more things. Might just be that one thing. Might just be that one thing. That's all right. Apparently John's up. Mama is upstairs cleaning at the moment because my wife is... My wife is here. I don't have a good name for you. Welcome back. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome back, Soma. Hey, what? That man over there. Who? Oh, you mean Hammer Sugar? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? No, I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop, sugar. Here? He's opening a shop in this castle? He's weird. Oh, can't deny that. Yeah, it's pretty strange, sugar. But if you say that, but if you say that he's a good guy, I'll believe you. Welcome back. 
How are you holding up? No. Lately, I've had some really bad headaches. Will you be alright? Yes, no need to worry. I'm fine. Okay, now it's just repeating. Oh, wait. Apparently, it was a little different. Uh. Just seeing. Really heavy at times. Will you be alright? I'm wondering how my body feels really heavy. Okay, just. Changes sometimes, so. Howdy there. Howdy there, okay? Is this where you've opened your shop? This is where you've opened your shop. There we go. Yes, yes, it is. I've forgotten Hammer's voice already. By the way, that cute young lady over there. She stared at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Whoa! I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, hey, it's not like that. Wow, why am I doing this voice for so much? That's for Mina. Hey, hey, it's not like that. Um, wow, okay. Don't be shy now, you're here. Apparently all the voices just merge together. Don't be shy now, you're here. It's good to be young. It's a good thing. Uh, depends what you mean by that, Hammer, because if you're technically saying stuff outside of marriage, that's no bueno. Alrighty, back to business. Take a look around, friend. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I could do it. Uh, yeah, I got one of those. Yeah, yeah I could. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hammer, we have. Broadsword, spear, gladius. Most of the weapons you don't really need to buy. Armor is the only thing that might be a good idea to buy. That does increase strength otherwise. I mean, you don't really need money for too much. Uh, let's see. War fatigues. Uh, that does have an increased strength, which is the main reason I'm going for that. This other stuff don't really need. Uh, potions aren't the exception. So, buying lots of potions. Like, for the most part, you don't need anything from Hammer. Potions are nice, though. Uh, war fatigues. Okay, so we should do a bit more damage now, so off we go. Uh, I can't remember if we're actually... There's at least one more thing to do over here. And right, your weakness is crouch. There is high potions later if I'm... We've technically seen them actually, we might actually go reclaim some. Maybe not too. We'll see. Okay, there you go. Just a little... You're perfect. Right where you are. Alright, so can't get that one yet, obviously. Which is a shame. That actually happens to be a decent uh, weapon. Uh, Cestus. I'll show off real quickly. Remember correctly, it's nice. And it's fast. Well, it's not as fast as I remember it, though. But it does happen to be fairly... I mean... But the range on it is the problem here, as you can see. Like, the range is bad. The range is very bad. So, back to the broadsword. Uh, Cestus might be better in other games. If I'm remembering those ones, killer dolls can actually hurt a lot. Uh, killer dolls are in the sequel. They're, uh... Palette swap versions are not in the sequel, which are lightning dolls. At least I don't remember the lightning dolls. If somebody wants to correct me, go right ahead. I don't mind being wrong about a video game. That's not what matters in life, honestly. What matters in life is God. Which, sometimes I'm still wrong about that. That one I do actually appreciate being that. I do want to very much so be corrected on, I guess is what I'm trying, because it's like, as I said, I don't... Oh wait, hold on a second. I can... Luck doesn't matter too much, but would happen to increase uh, the amount of souls we get and items, so that does happen to be a good reason to get that. And we can go this way now, which we could. I mean, we, we technically went this way before, it's just we can now uh, not take a bunch of time to go that way, I guess is what I'm trying to say. 
Uh, high potions don't really matter too much in this game, so I think I'm gonna skip it on second thought. Uh, high potions in most other games happen to increase your HP as opposed to uh, restore it. There's, uh, well, it's kinda hard to say because there's both in later games. Aria of Sorrow doesn't have that. Oddly. It's actually really, really weird that Aria of Sorrow doesn't have that. Uh, I guess the other thing I can talk about is talk saw the new DuckTales. It was bad. I'm sure some people will disagree with me, but I did not like the new DuckTales. I did not think it was very capturing of the original DuckTales. It was partially, but then some characters feel like they were changed just to be changed. And that's not any good. Kind of like how they're making an all-female cast of uh, uh, Lord of the Flies, which that's not needed either. I get wanting to have more female roles. I'm fine with that. But only for places where it could be, I guess. Lord of the Flies does not need an all-female cast. It's gonna be the ex I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna be the exact same story, unless they just... Uh, I don't know really how they change it, to be honest. Maybe it'll be good. I'm planning to watch Wonder Woman here in a few days. I've heard good things about that. I have no interest in that. I did, however, win that from, uh... Bad Catholic, Bad Catholic Dials, which, by the way, as long as I remember, I will totally put a link to their YouTube channel and their podcast in this video. Recommend you check them out. They are a good bunch. Like, I really like their stuff. They're fun, and yeah, I guess that's mostly it about them. But they're good. Uh, basically, they have a contest where if you leave a review, uh, you get entered in a chance. Same with their Patreon, and I did start contributing to their Patreon. Don't have a bunch of money, but I do have a little bit. So, uh, Archeado? No, it's Julius II. Strange. I sense the dark power within you. Why am I using this voice? This would make more sense for Archeado. Too late now. Who are you? It was rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Yes, you're right. I can't give you my name, but people call me Jay. People call you Jay? Why well, had your real name? Are you a criminal? No, I have amnesia. I'm told I was in an accident in 1999. When I woke up in the hospital, I had forgotten my name and my past. Convenient plot points. Oh, I see. Well, my name's Soma. Your dark power? Were you born with it? I don't really know. I first noticed it when I entered this castle. I see. I guess I was mistaken. Mr. J, why have you come to this castle? Call me J. I'm filled with fear when I hear the name Dracula. And man, I really wish that we would have gotten this set of games before we started doing a reboot, Konami. That would have been nice. Just saying. I can't... I came here because of the prophecy. I also thought my memory might return. In fact, since my, ri my arrival, I, felt, I have felt like my memory is returning. And your accident occurred in 1999? Maybe Dracula was involved? I really like this game, Capcom, but, you know, Ega kind of doesn't work for you anymore, so it wouldn't be the same. And you'd probably be anti-religious in that, because, uh, look at Lords of Shadow. So, not too interested anymore. While Igarashi did happen to be weird, obviously, with these games, he still made good games. For Like, if you can overlook the pieces here and there, he wasn't trying to be offensive. Japanese just look at things a little bit differently. I fear you are correct, especially since I have magical powers. Jay, are you an exorcist? Well, you might say that, but I work for no one but myself. I must be going now. I'm sure we'll meet again. Yes, see ya. Still don't know I made him the Southern Bale. But I did. And what is this place? Is this the Dean Guest House? I think it is. I can't remember. Uh, as of this moment, actually, I was going to just do a 15 minute episode. We're going to go a little, a little longer. Not too much. Basically, just looking for a uh, save point this time. Which might be here. Which might not be here. Which might be here? Which might not be here? 
There's a save point around here somewhere. I can tell you that. I just don't know where. And the evil butcher is back. Um, you know, there still happen to be enemies that happen to be a little hard to fight, but not too bad because we fought them once before. However, we do have pallet swap, which, oh no, wait, no, it's just uh, differently colored here. Iron Golem. There is an Iron Golem in this game, by the way, which, uh, for those of you aware. Oh gosh, ow. Ow! Iron Golem typically happens to be one of the strongest enemies in Castlevania games. Uh, in Dinosaur, there actually happened to be a really easy way to cheese him. Uh, Portrait of Ruin, there, supposedly, and I never got to them in Portrait of Ruin, though. So, I don't know. In Portrait of Ruin, they were quite hard to get to, and uh, Dawn of Sorrow, not so much. They happen to be in the equivalent of this. Uh, there should be a save point then to the right. Obviously, I've taken the shortcut. Most of the time, when there's... Yep, okay. Yeah, so yeah. That wasn't too bad. Overtime. Overtime. We'll probably... I'm gonna just talk real quickly, sorry. We'll probably go explore the rest a little bit more of this area before we do this boss. Just because it's like... I'm not speedrunning it. So I don't mind going back and doing a little extra, such as I just described. So I figured it's not a bad idea, because we're only level 10. I think... <sighs> might be a little under... I mean, we could go ahead and try, but I... I'd like to at least show off a little bit more of the area, because apparently I just jumped right for the boss without realizing it, but that's all right. We can talk more about this stuff next time. As always, thank you very much for watching. However, before we go, as we always do, let us end with prayer and give glory to God. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Punctius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Psalm 72 Give the King thy justice, O God, and thy righteousness to the royal Son. May he judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with justice. Let the mountains bear prosperity for the people, and the hills in righteousness. May he defend the cause of the poor of the people, give deliverance to the needy, and crush the oppressor. May he live while the sun endures, and as long as the moon throughout all generations. May he be like rain that falls on the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. In his days may righteousness flourish, and peace abound till the moon be no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. May his foes bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of the isles render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him, all nations serve him. For he delivers the needy when he calls, the poor, and him who has no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy, and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence he redeems their life, and precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May gold of Sheba be given to him. May prayer be made for him continually, and blessings invoked for him all the day. May there be abundance of grain in the land. On the tops of the mountains may it wave. May its fruit be like Lebanon, and may men blossom forth from the cities like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. His fame continue as long as the sun. May men bless themselves by him. All nations call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wondrous things. Blessed be his glorious name forever. May his glory fill the whole earth. Amen and amen. The prayers of David, the son of Jesse, are ended.
the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you all have a wonderful day, and God bless.